project that my group did. It's actually the culmination of a series of projects that we did uh, with the Michigan Department of Transportation. Uh, it was a, set, a series of three projects that took place over about four years. So this talk is on a strategy that Michigan has been implementing, and I want to talk about how we went about developing that strategy, what Umtree's role was for that strategy. So by way of introduction, and as Dr. O said this morning in his opening comments, our society is aging, and that is the case certainly in Michigan. Um, based on some of the work that we did on earlier projects, we know that about 10% of Michigan residents right now are age 70 or older. And in rural counties, that percentage is much greater, 20% uh, when we did the study. And we know in future projections, these are projections done by the Census Bureau, uh, there will be a lot of older people. This is a, a phenomenon that is starting and will continue for a long time. So uh, it's predicted here in Michigan that by 2030, about 14% of our population will be 70 and above, and about two thirds or so of those uh, residents will be older women. We also know from work that we've done that driving in particular, but mobility is important for our older people. Uh, more than 80% of our citizens age 70 and above are licensed to drive and they drive often. However, we do have a percentage, and this percentage will increase as the population ages increase, that don't drive at all, about 13% right now. And when we surveyed those people, uh, about three-fourths of them said that they are not happy. They have at least some level of dissatisfaction with their ability to get around. So we have a lot of issues that we need to deal with in Michigan. So in, re in, in response to this, uh, societal issue in Michigan, it's elsewhere as well, and also based on recommendations that came out of the previous projects, MDOT sought to plan and test a strategy that could be implemented statewide and that could be sustainable, meaning not always having to have a funding source to keep it going, for addressing older adult safe mobility. So the, the, the program had two goals. Uh, the first is to help Michigan adults age 60 and older continue driving for as long as they can safely drive. And they chose 60 because we want to catch people before they start having problems with driving. And then also to help older adults retire from driving when appropriate, but also stay safely mobile. And so the strategy had, as proposed, three components, an education component, an intervention component, and a collaborative component. The collaborative component was important for the sustainability of this, uh, of this strategy. So MDOT contracted with us to help them in all phases of this project. That's development, implementation, and testing. So it was a three-year project. So in the first part of the project, we um, were charged with identifying and evaluating models that we might use in Michigan for this purpose. And to do that, we did an extensive literature review. We looked at uh, models that have been used in other states and other countries. We looked at um, materials and programs for helping older adults on those two goals um, from uh, other places, best practices, and evidence-based. We put together an advisory and stakeholder um, committee group to help with the development and implementation of this strategy. Uh, that consisted of about 40 people from several different state organizations, some of which maybe are represented here. And so that included health and police and state government and service agencies and industry and so on. We then provided detailed recommendations for the strategy. Now this is the model that we were proposing. And so we view this um, transportation as a continuum, at least from the person perspective, where people start as driving and driving safely. As they begin to have some problems with driving, they are starting their transitioning process. And if people live long enough, they will eventually have to stop driving. So they will transition to non-driving. That's the, the sort of overall model that's guiding this strategy. And underneath that arrow at the top are the education components, examples of educational components. Um, some cover driving, transitioning, and non-driving. Some just cover driving and transitioning and so on, as well as the intervention components. So this sort of gives you an overall structure of the model that we proposed. At the bottom are the partnerships. 
and the partnerships are the ones that keep this whole thing going. And then we realized as we were doing this that we also needed to have branding and a marketing strategy for the whole thing. So we helped with this development of a brand. Uh, the communication departments of three state transportation agencies got together, MDOT, MDOS, and OHSP, and they developed several different examples of strategies. We brought those logos to the advisory and stakeholder groups, got their feedback, went back to these groups, revised the, strat the, um, uh, the logo, and then we focus group tested them with the three target audiences for the strategy, which I should have mentioned before. The, the three target audiences are older adults, age 60 and above, family members of older adults, age 60 and above, and the professionals who work with older adults, age 60 and above. And so all those groups were, were focus group tested or structured interview tested. And based on that feedback, this is the logo and um, tagline that we came up with. And just by a show of hands, is this familiar to anybody in the room? Two people. Good. We're starting to get the word out. So once we had a, a logo and a um, tagline, we developed a website. And so this was a committee from the advisory and stakeholder group. They got together and looked at other websites around the country. Uh, we put together um, a sort of skeleton website. Sorry for the typo and, and second bullet point. We put together a skeleton website. We drew content from the things we discovered in the literature review. Uh, and then um, by a very fortunate turn of events, it turned out that the Michigan Department of State was looking to populate a website on aging drivers that they had recently developed. And so they agreed to take over the hosting and management of this uh, strategy website. And so MDOT developed the original website, and then MDOS now manages it and updates it and so on. And that's the website right there. And this just gives you the front page of the website. We took this website and pilot tested it with those three audiences, again, using focus group techniques and structured interviews. We fed that information back and revised the website based on that. And then the next step was implementation. So this is phase two. Um, we needed to develop marketing strategies. And so lots of marketing strategies began to get developed, bookmarks, posters, videos, and so on. And I just want to show you I can get it to work. One of the videos. Welcome to the Safe Drivers Smart Options Aging Good. Driver page. There's a lot of information on the World Wide Web about aging drivers, but if you're like me, looking all over the internet to find answers can be a daunting task. This website has been designed to let you access that information in one simple to navigate location. Our goal is to help you remain mobile and independent. Whether you are an active driver, a retired driver, or just beginning that transition. It's normal as we get older to wonder how long we can safely remain behind the wheel. Or maybe your spouse or children have made some comments that let you know they're worried about you. There's no magic age or time when a person should retire from driving. It's our goal to keep you driving as safely as long as possible. And if the time comes to stop driving, we're here to help you find the resources to remain mobile and independent. In this aging driver section, you will find links to resources to assess your driving skills, sites that offer refresher courses and information about medical conditions that can impact your ability to drive safely. If you think it's time to put away the keys, or if you've recently done that, then you'll find our section on getting around after driving useful. It has resources such as public transportation options, broken down by regions of the state, along with contact information for organizations that can help you get to where you want to go. We're glad you found us. Bookmark this site because here you can find the keys to lifelong mobility. 
Okay, so that was one of the videos that was developed. That's sort of an introductory uh, introduction to the website. But uh, we also have other videos that have been developed. There's one for law enforcement, and there's one for medical personnel, and that process continues. So once we had the website in place and all of the various uh, resources, Umtree in the third part of this project worked to help implement the strategy. So we worked directly with service providers in several counties around Washtenaw County, um, Se Secretary of State offices, healthcare facilities, state police, and area agencies on aging to actually talk with them and figure out how they could implement the strategy, how they could teach about the strategy to their clients, and also integrate the strategy into their strategic planning. Uh, we also conducted before and after implementation surveys of awareness. And what we found is what I just found when I asked people to raise their hand. Um, the awareness of the strategy is fairly low among um, family members and caregivers. Now we did this survey only after about four months of implementation and it was a very limited implementation. The idea is more of a grass, grassroots effort to get, this, to get this out. We don't have a budget for doing PSAs and for doing billboards and that sort of thing, so it's really a grassroots effort. The professionals, however, about 40% had heard of the strategy and had gone to the website, so we're doing a fairly good job with the professionals, although we can do better. The other thing we found is um, we asked people what they, what they look for, what kind of information they need, and we found that what's on our website is almost entirely, what they want on the website is almost entirely contained on that website. So it's the right information. There are some pros and cons to using a website. Some people did say that they don't use websites or that they would go to other places for information. Uh, in particular, older drivers often said, I would talk to my family members about that. Fortunately, the website also is for family members. Okay, and so now, where, where are we now? Um, the strategy is managed by the Michigan Department of State. They have an operating committee and a, round, a business roundtable and a communication subcommittee that is active. They're currently working to improve the strategy and to uh, develop new content for the strategy. As part of UMTREE's final work with the strategy, we developed 29 recommendations for moving the strategy forward. Some of those examples are here. Those are the recommendations that the operating committee is trying to work through and implement. One of them is to integrate the strategy into this book. I don't know if you've seen it. It's called Great Lakes, Great Years. It's available in every Secretary of State office in the state. It will now be developed to, to reflect what the strategy is and what the content of the strategy is, and that should be out in Secretary of State offices in the next six months or so. All right, thank you. <laughs>